Hello, did you just have a C-section and are you wondering if that C-section belly, that C-section self, how to get it to reduce or go away? Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about three ways that you can, um, th three things that you can do to help reduce that um, inflammation, reduce that belly, reduce that shelf, whatever you might want to call it. So, um, my name is Rachel and I am a certified personal trainer. I also have a pre and postnatal certification. I am a health coach, certified health coach. Love what I do, love and passionate about all things health and fitness. But I specifically um, love helping C-section mamas recover from their C-sections. I had two C-sections, um, one in 2015 and another in 2017. So. Um, I'm familiar with the recovery. I don't think I did it the right way. So I want to come and share my knowledge and what I have learned and what I wish I knew when I had a C-section and was recovering and wanted to reduce my belly and wanted to reduce the, my C-section shelf. So let's go ahead and dump, jump right into this video. Again, we're gonna cover three things, inflammation, nutrition, and then core work, okay? Um, I'm going to briefly talk about these three. I want you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel because three more videos are coming your way. Big, lots of detail about how to reduce inflammation. Lots of detail about nutrition and how that plays a role um, in reducing that belly and reducing that C-section shelf. And then again, core work, which is very important to do safely um, and um, correctly. So uh, that's coming your way as well. I will go into detail about different exercises you can do immediately after your C-section and then ways to progress as you're recovering. So for today's video though, I wanna talk about these three generally, right? Um, and hopefully give you some tips that you can take and use right now. So inflammation, okay, that's our number one, right? That is one of the main reasons for that C-section belly, for that C-section shelf. You've had surgery, um, and so you got a, you know, you got a lot of inflammation from that. It also your diet could be playing a role in that inflammation. Um, hydration can play a role. So there are so many things that can go into causing your body to be inflamed. And what we need to do is we need to bring down the inflammation in your body in order for you then to see some reduction in that C-section belly and in that C-section shelf, right? Okay, so some simple ways you can go ahead and bringing down the inflammation. One is intermittent fasting. Um, it is a great tool thing to implement to help reduce inflammation, to help give your body a, a chance for a digestive rest. I will go into detail more on that further. Leave those questions below if you have any about intermittent fasting, but it is a tool that if done correctly and carefully can be um, amazing for recovery from a C-section or from delivery in general. So um, I've been doing intermittent fasting for two years. Um, love what has, it has done for my body, um, for my mind, really. It's, it's, it's an amazing tool to have in your, in your pocket. Um, so we will go into detail in another video on that for sure, but I wanna know your questions, so leave those below. So that is a way to reduce inflammation. Hydration is another way. I wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated um, so that your body um, can you know push through, um, waste can push through um, the things that it's holding on to, onto. We can just keep everything moving so that nothing is, is staying there and causing more inflammation, okay? Your digestive system, um, again, impacts your that inflammation a lot. So looking into staying hydrated, to eating enough fiber, to um, incorporating um, probiotics, and not necessarily do you have to take a supplement to incorporate pro probiotics, but you can use um, natural sources like um, sauerkraut, yogurts have it, um, kombucha is another way to get in some probiotics. So those are all things that you can do to help get your digestive system moving, um, which could be leading to some of that inflammation. And, and also inflammation post C-section is highly due to your surgery, okay? And, um, you know, them running fluids through you really fast you to get you to use um, to get you to stay hydrated during surgery, um, then afterwards to be able to use the restroom and progress and recover, okay? So um, then you were on some medication too that could have caused it. 
um, you are eating maybe some more processed food because those are fast and easy right after having a baby. You know, you, you, the, the time it takes to cook healthy meals sometimes um, is pushed aside and we grab for those convenience foods, which then again are processed foods, which can cause inflammation. Um, also, if you're drinking your calories, that can be a big, big thing to cause inflammation as well. So just take a step back, maybe uh, create a food journal for a few days to see what kind of foods you're eating. Um, you can reach out to me, we can go over that food journal and sort of assess what other foods we can implement to help um, reduce some of those um, inflammation causing foods. Okay, number two is nutrition. So this kind of leads into nutrition, right? We want, um, we would love to see you be fueling your body with more fruits and vegetables. Eat the rainbow, okay? So try to make your plates as colorful as possible. When you're shopping for groceries, shop the outside of the store. So shop the fruits and veggies section, to the refrigerated section. Try to stay away from those um, processed foods, those packaged foods. Um, so eating the rainbow, a great way to do that is with salads and smoothies. Smoothies is a, com a really convenient food that a lot of people forget about. Um, they associate it with like a protein smoothie. And I don't necessarily mean you have to add a protein powder, okay? Just having a smoothie in general is a great way to boost up the micronutrients in you. All those micronutrients come from all the colorful foods. So putting in that smoothie some vegetables, some fruits, things like that um, will help uh, enrich your body with nutrients that it needs to fight off that inflammation, to help heal your body, um, to help provide you with some great energy sources as well. Um, if you love smoothies and would like some mommy and me friendly smoothies, there is a link in the description that you can go and get your own copy of my mommy and me smoothie guide that is full of some great smoothie recipes that will be easy to incorporate. Um, during a postpartum recovery, or if you have little kiddos too, sharing it with them. Um, a great way to boost the whole family's nutrient uh, array of foods. So um, that is a fun resource that you can take advantage of. Third thing you can do to reduce that C-section belly or um, that C-section sh shelf, <laughs> that's a hard one to say, um, is core exercises, okay? Um, again, a video is going to come further. I'm going to walk you through how to progress in those core exercises. The biggest thing you can do immediately is focus on core breathing. Okay. Um, uh, in the description, I have linked my, an Instagram video that I did going over, um, core breathing, just the basics about core breathing. Okay. And it's so important. You can do this while you're sitting and taking care of baby on the couch. You can do this while you're standing while you're going on a leisure walk, you can incorporate core breathing to help you build that mind-body connection with your core and also help you learn what it feels like to engage your entire core, okay? Your transverse abdominals rather than just that front little section that maybe you're used to incorporating, okay? Um, your core is gonna be quite weak after a C-section um, and if you don't incorporate core breathing or the proper core exercises, it could stay weak for a long time. So we wanna start there at the fundamentals with core breathing and then progress our way through some core exercises to help build up that core strength that is gonna help you have better posture, feel stronger, and then if you're incorporating other workouts, it's going to enhance those workouts as well, help minimize um, any lower back pain because when you're engaging your core correctly, you're supporting your lower back. So um, it's very important. Check that core breathing exercises. Start there. Stay tuned for that video coming and I will walk you through um, all the exercises that you can start to incorporate. So I hope this video has been helpful, giving you a few ways that you can keep in mind to help start reducing um, that C-section belly, that C-section shelf, right? We're gonna incorporate things that help reduce inflammation. That's gonna be our focus. Let's reduce the inflammation in our body. Then let's incorporate good nutrition so that we're fueling our body, giving it the foods it needs, helping with, that di with digestion. And then thirdly, we're gonna incorporate some core work to help rebuild that strength and strengthen those muscles there so that we can pull our belly in rather than pushing it outward and only encouraging that that direction okay so i hope these um tips have been helpful stay tuned for those other videos so much goodness is coming your way thank you so much for watching today leave those questions below um go hug your babies and have a great day